Hey friends, we're going to be going through and talking about subqueries as a part of our how to write T-SQL like a pro. Let's get to it. Hello and welcome. My name is Austin Leibel and I am a trainer for Pragmatic Works on the data engineering team. And I like to talk about SQL, I like to talk about Azure, and I like to do training on those topics as well. At Pragmatic Works, we do lots of training around Microsoft products like SQL Server, like the Power Platform, and like Azure. And if you're interested in any of our training offerings, definitely check out some of the links in the About section below. But let's get to talking about subqueries. I want to go over what a subquery is and then go and give a few examples of how they work inside of Management Studio with the AdventureWorks database. A SQL subquery is a query that is embedded within another query and it's actually a way to go through and retrieve data from one or more tables that use the result set or our results as a temporary table for use inside of another query. So you're always going to have an outer query and an inner query when using a subquery. Subqueries can be used in several different ways. They can be used to retrieve data that will Will be used as a comparison value in a WHERE clause. You can use it to retrieve data that will be used in a JOIN condition. You can also retrieve it as a SELECT statement to generate a computed column or a summary value. So let's now go over to our Management Studio. Enough talking about it. Let's just see what they are all about and then we'll uh, go through a couple use cases in this video. All right, so I am inside of SQL Server Management Studio. I'm connected to the AdventureWorks 2016 database. So I'm gonna go through and talk about one way you could potentially go through and return results for yourself. If you want to filter down to just specific customers who have maybe made a purchase, I could go through and I could select from the sales.customer table. On the sales.customer table, we have a list of customers who have made a purchase, right? Uh, I would pull back some different customers Columns from there, maybe the customer ID, uh, maybe like in the account number two, just pull back some basic data that I can go through and work with. Now, when I want to go through and filter, I can go through and say where customer ID is in and then provide a hard coded list. I could say, you know, customer ID one, two, three, four, but I'm going to have to know exactly which customers I want to go through and filter by. How do I know through which ones have made purchases? How do I know which ones have not made purchases? Well, I can go through and actually use a subquery to do exactly that. So instead of hard coding this, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to write another query. So inside of this parentheses here, I'm going to provide another select statement, another from statement, and that is going to populate my where list condition. So I'm going to go through here and say I'm going to select, and then I like to kind of format it in this way, select from sales dot sales order header. On my sales order header table, I have a list of purchases that have been made by customers inside of my database. So I'm going to pull back that customer ID from the sales dot sales order header table. So this is going to be my inner query and this is going to be my outer query. Now this is not a join. This is almost like another way to pull back data in a join, but not in and of itself a join or anything of that nature. So let's go ahead, run this now, execute that, and that has now provided us a list of customers that have made a purchase in our database. If I just go through and run this portion of the query right here, you'll notice that I have an additional, approximately if I come down here, about uh, 700 or so customers that I guess have not made a purchase. So if I want to go through again and see the ones that have made a purchase, I can just run this entire section right here and I get back about eh, again, 700 or so different records. Now as a part of this, I can actually go through and run this statement as well, the inner query. It's its own separate query that can be run and that's what's populating this list. When I run this, you'll see I have quite a few more records, right? Because we have customers who are placing orders multiple times inside of our database, which is a good thing if we are a company who are trying to make sales. Let's go through one more example really quickly uh, of how a subquery works. Uh, we can actually have nested subqueries as well. Let's say I wanted to pull back a list of products that have been 
ordered from a production.product table and then bring back a list of products that have been sold from the sales order detail table and then filter all the way down to a specific year to see what data uh, is coming from that. So I can actually go through and I can write out my subquery, uh, or write out my outer query first, I guess I will do. Uh, so I'll go through and from production.product, I'm going to pull back a product ID column. I'm going to pull back a color, and I'll pull back a name as well. Just get some information about my data, and that is the, a list of all of our products that have, are on the production product table. Now I'm gonna go through and filter. So I wanna filter to see where those individual products have been sold. So I'm going to say where product ID and I'm going to provide another list and I'm going to say I want to select from the sales dot sales order detail table and I'll pull back the product ID from that. Now from right here, I could go through and I could run this and this would give me a list of products that have actually been purchased. So we come down and only see about 266 records now. But what if I want to even get more granular with this? What if I wanna go through and perform another subquery as well? I can do that and what I could do is say, I want to filter this where the sales order ID is in and I'm gonna actually make another subquery now. I'm gonna go select from the sales dot sales order header table, which has a, a big overview of all the purchases that we have made throughout the year. And I'm going to say where the year from the order date, the year function of the order date is equal to 2012. I'm gonna wrap up the first subquery. This second subquery, I'll put these quotes, uh, the uh, parentheses there at the very end, just so we can kind of see exactly what that's uh, coming th up to. I'll zoom out a little bit so we get that whole query on screen so we have multiple subqueries subqueries within subqueries oh i need to provide a, a column for this i guess don't want to forget that there we go now we can get those results. So we have filtered this down even more again i can actually go through and run each of these individual queries apart from themselves so they have like an inner query an inner inner query and then a another inner query as an outer query i guess you would say so that's going to give us all of the results back that we want to work with when we are doing subqueries uh, and multiple nested subqueries to be able to say when products were purchased what products were purchased and what year they were purchased in as well Hopefully you enjoyed this video on subqueries and it gives you some ideas of how you can go through and start using this to populate a where statement. We'll maybe have some discussion around other use cases for that in the future. Where I'd like to see this series go next is comparing some of the different topics that we've covered throughout this video series on how to go through and make sure that we have the best query optimization possible. So as we go through, should we use subqueries? Should we use CTE? Should we use temp tables? How do I know which one to use? We're gonna talk about in the next video. Definitely stay tuned. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe to get the most up-to-date information from Pragmatic Works on our channel. And if you haven't, definitely check out our on-demand learning platform where we have tons of content around T-SQL and many, many other topics as well. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. I'll see you in the next one.